Hey guys, you excited for the new Batman Superman movie? I know I am, but you should go and check out The Dark Knight Retires. That's right, Retires. I've always been Gotham's silent protector, a watchful guardian, a dark knight, but not anymore. What are you gonna do, retire? <laughs> I never thought of that. We talked about this a little bit on the podcast. This was an idea I think that I came up with. And this was putting you on my nice, shiny new hardwood floor and seeing if you could pull your weight across it. And because of, you know, some of the aches and pains you have, I think this is going to be a good exercise. So, we'll see what you got. All right. He is allowed to use his legs. As long as he's moving weight, it's a good thing. Pull. Pull. Yeah, there you go. So what's this all about, Jordy? <laughs> it's about the Batman movie. <laughs> it's about the yes, it's about the Batman web series. It's uh it's it's taking a look at the last days of Batman and uh, it's you know it's an older Cape Crusader. All the villains are there though, right? Yeah, the Fr Mr. Freeze, Catwoman, the Joker. For you mobile people, there's gonna be an annotation in the description. For the people on the PC that you know I love, annotation right there in the middle of the screen, buddy. Thank you for, I hope you watch and enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, so that is a big ass tractor tire. I flip that thing when I'm really working out hard and trying to lose weight, get in shape, uh, you know, building lower body strength, stuff like that. And uh, I think you're gonna take a whack at it. So let's see what you got. Yeah, I'm gonna take a whack at it. Now keep in mind, I do have a bad back. No excuses, play like a champion. Okay. Push into it instead of lifting. Urgh, there we go, hell yeah. One. Two. Three, he's killing it. You are killing it. Still going. Get in the grass and we'll call that one good. One more, come on. There we go, hell yeah. You killed that thing. Hopefully. Anybody would have had a hard time with that. I'm serious, I just, <laughs> I flipped that thing right before he did. That thing is a handful. It's a couple hundred pounds, it's full of water. That is tough, it's got me winded. For sure. All right, let's uh let's skip to a little bit of cardio. You ready? Right. Yeah. Well, is there a mountain lion gonna chase me? It might. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is gonna be a little bit different than before. We got a tire again, but this is really good for cardio. Now a lot of I've heard of boxers talking about chopping trees. This is gonna give you, I think, something really similar, but it's more low impact, and that's what I'm going for with a lot of this stuff is keeping it low impact. So we're gonna give you a couple minutes on the tire. That's gonna you're gonna be rotating your hips, making full extension, and uh, burning a few calories. Hopefully, have at it. Oh, Almost slipped. <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't have to be pretty. And if you hit it in the opposite direction, it'll spin in the opposite direction. Just don't let go, wings. You'll kill me. Keep it going. Let the neighbors know. He's running from you. You may have to grab him and slow him down. Yeah. I'm done. Now. <laughs> Come on. Let's do ten more. Ten more hits. Ten, ten more hits. I got ten in me. You got ten. I got. I got I'm gonna give you one left. You got ten. Come on. One. Oh. You got it. Swing lefty if you need to. It's not my. It's not that. It's my back. <laughs> let's get. Let's get four more. Then that'll make five. Two. Three. Four. Kill it. Yeah. There we go. All right. Woo. A little bit more winded. Ah, my back's killing me. All right. So we're gonna have to do something. Take you off your feet now. But we can't stop because we've only been going for about 10 minutes. We need to keep your heart up for at least half an hour. So uh, let's go into the basement and see what we can find down there to keep All you busy. 
All right, Jordy. So on that bar, we have about 120 pounds. Uh, the weights on the outside are 25 pounds each. That combines to 50, and the weights on the inside are 35 pounds each, which combines to 70. The rack itself is almost weightless, I have found. So tack on two and a half to five pounds, but we're gonna call this 120 pounds. These are some overhead presses here, and I think our goal, my goal right here with this, I don't know how you're feeling about it, but to me it's to build some upper body strength because, I, because muscles are in themselves fat burning machines. So as much as cardio is important in keeping your heart rate up for long periods of time, I think we need to build some muscle too. We need to make you a strong guy again. So let's, let's do some sets. Let's see if we can knock out eight. Perfect. There you go. Each one of these is a step. Just keep going slow like that. It, it's good that it burns. That means you're working. I think the last one took me last one. No, you got two more at least. You got two more at least. All right, you're going to start three, two, one, up. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Give us one. Give us one more. All you got. Come on. All right. all right. Well, that's good. That's what we want. All right. That's literally everything. I'm not even holding back, dude. All right. We're going to do another set. We're going to, we're going to drop the weight a little bit. That's good, though. We wanted to find a breaking point. What was that? Four and a half? That was something like that. It, the, the numbers really don't matter. The numbers are how I keep you moving. I am instantly sore right, right in the middle of my Right in the middle of your back. That's the muscle we're going after. I mean, like it's like sore almost instantaneously. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't, and that's, that's why we had you eating those bananas last night. We're gonna make sure you don't cramp up. So, uh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You got it? There you go. There we go. Now we're sweating. We're doing work. So at this point, I was getting a little bit worried. He was having a really hard time with this part of the workout. And this part of the workout wasn't even planned because I really thought he was going to be able to hit that tire longer. And you can see right here, he's really struggling. He's putting some effort into it. But, uh, but I was worried right here because he was having a really hard time with, uh, I think that's 70 pounds. I think that's 70. No, that's 90 pounds. That's, that's 90 pounds he's lifting. And he's having a really hard time with it. He is doing um, really careful reps. He is keeping his form, which does make it hurt more. But uh, he was struggling with this part. And, uh, and like I said, I was a little worried right here. But he definitely turned things around uh, in day two, I feel like. I'm not, I don't think I'm giving anything away uh, telling you that. And uh, I think you're about to see he's about to transition from this. He did three sets of, uh, we attempted eight reps each set. Uh, but he basically did as many as he could. He struggled through them. And uh, I think it was good for day one as far as weightlifting goes. Uh, I don't feel like we got enough cardio done in day one at all. Um, and what we're about to switch to is us attempting to get that cardio. So we hopped on the elliptical, and uh, I think you're going to see we had a few issues there. All right, so we just got our elliptical going, and uh, I think we're going to try to get you going for five minutes on here. I think that'd be good. You're saying you're having a hard time holding yourself up because the arms are getting tired. Let's see if you got five minutes in you. Oh man, five, five minutes. You are doing like a long time. Don't think about it. Just focus. How can you not think about it? Focus at the same time. How am I supposed to focus on it? I usually pretend like I'm actually running around a racetrack and uh, I think back to running on track in my past, so that may not be an option for you. Um, I didn't make the track team. I don't know if you believe it. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, maybe imagine that someone's behind you chasing you. Like the poke poke. Like an asthma attack. Yeah, yeah. Just, just imagine there's a bear back there, and he's trying to keep it going. What are you I'm doing? Gonna, Pump the I'm shit. Just, gonna, oh. You gotta stay at a reasonable pace. Come on, you gotta keep him going. That's not even your arms, bro. That's that. I mean, this is like walking through snow. Keep going. 
You got this. Put your hands on the center things, and then you don't have to hold yourself up. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Give us 30 more seconds. Come on, give us 30 more. fall down. I'll send Jeremy to hold you up. Jeremy, don't think you hold me up. Jeremy, go hold him up. I'm done. Come on. 30 seconds. You got this. Come on. Okay, two more bars. So here's your second right here. You are fat. You've got to work. You got to work this off. It's not going to leave. You've got to work hard. This is day one. Two more seconds. Yeah. Come. I'm going. That's it. You're getting close. Come on. You've got it. We've had a malfunction. Get him back on track, Jeremy. Kick it. Back on track and back to work. Ten more. Pump. Nine, Come on, it's ten more eight, fucking steps, man. Seven. This isn't hard. You got this. Three. It's all I don't know if I can take that leg up. You got two more seconds. That's good, dude. All right, that's good enough. All right, how do you feel now? Like a deer fall out of pussy. Like what? A deer falling out of pussy. I'm not sure what that means. Here, see a baby deer get born, and my legs all wobbly in this. How wobbly are you? I couldn't do the steps back up to the house right now. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good for, uh, for right now. We're not done yet, though. That's the end of day one. And, uh, I, uh, it's the end of day one, and I, uh, I don't know, I'm really sore. But this bathtub kicks lots and lots of ass. It does. I don't know, it's huge. Like, you see, I'm a big dude, and, like, it's just everywhere. It's just, woo, and loping. But, uh, woo. I don't really know what to say. Um,. I was kind of disappointed in myself how I uh, I wasn't as strong as I as I remember myself being, but I guess that's the way most things happen. Is you you always feel like you're you were better at a certain point. Like um, I find myself remembering um, thinking back to uh, when I used to be like 330 pounds, and I got, back then I thought I was really really heavy and. Um, like now I'd kill to be 330. Like, good lord, that's 110 pounds. You know, and that's exactly what it is at this point. It's 110 pounds and there's really nothing you can, uh, really nothing that you can do about it. But, I mean, if you sit there and linger on it, like, man, I used to be 330. But at the same hindsight, I used to be like eight pounds too. I think eight pounds is the lightest I've ever been. Eight pounds and two ounces. But, you know, you can't look back. You always got to look forward. And, like, the past, you know, you just got to learn from it. And, like, I know now, if I got down to 330 now, I'd feel I'd feel like a million bucks, dude. I'd, I'd be, you know, just jump for joy, exuberated. And um, it's uh, really cool. Like, I... I I feel really good that Kyle's helping me out here. I mean, he's being a really good friend doing this. And, like, it did, just the amount of time invested in something like this is just crazy. And, uh, you know, I'd like to be able to find some way to pay him back, but who knows. It, you know, changing a life. I mean, I'm hoping that's, what's, I'm hoping that's what we're doing here, changing a life. Um... <clears throat> But I'm stinky right now. It's the end of day one. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I might wake up and do a vlog tomorrow talking about how I'm feeling before I, uh, I go out and do some stuff. And uh, hopefully everything gets back on track. I accomplished 90% of what I wanted to do today. And uh, tomorrow hopefully we can do 90% again.